Tonight, we meet the Harvard University student who has a need for speed. And she is using her talents on and off the track to inspire girls to get into science. WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski introduces us to her in our Women in Science series. The car doesn't know the difference between female muscle and male muscle, right? You just need to be able to drive it well. And sure enough, 22-year-old Aurora Strauss does drive well and fast. She's been a professional race car driver since she was 17. So I was racing before I came to Harvard. We met on campus last year before the shutdown. The sophomore is studying history and literature and minoring in government. But on the weekend, Aurora switches gears to her STEM-based career of racing. Racing in general is entirely STEM-focused. There's so much math and physics behind racing that people don't talk about, don't understand. But most of the smartest people I've ever met are, you know, some of them are here. A lot of them are actually engineers in the racing world. Thousands of inputs based on sensors in the car are downloaded after each race and formulated into complicated equations and graphs to figure out where she may be off by her competitor by hundreds or thousands of a second. Because professional drivers tend to be up to a couple tenths off of each other, but if you're not within a tenth of your competitors, you're already, you're already gone. So finding a hundredth of a second is something that you're not going to be able to see in video. It's not going to be something that you can feel with intuition, um, but it is something you can see in data. But the beauty of this math lesson is she shares it with young girls inviting groups of Girl Scouts to the track, hoping to inspire them into a STEM career. So I have a nonprofit called Girls with Drive. I started it a couple years ago because I had a young girl come up to me and tell me that she didn't know girls were allowed to race. I think on the one hand, um, I'm very lucky to be in an opportunity where I can reach out to young girls at the racetrack and be an active role model for them and show them that this is something that they can do too. But on the flip side of that, I think part of why it's important for me to be there is to show a lack of difference. And despite years of being one of just a few women on the track, Aurora updated me over Zoom that 2021 is already making history. I just finished my first race weekend at Sonoma with Christina Nielsen, and it was awesome. I'm uh, fielding a female car this year, an all-woman car, which is making history. It's the first all-woman driver lineup in SRO America. We're stronger when we work together, I really do believe that, and the results will speak for themselves. Aurora will be racing in car number 43, competing in SRO GT4 America, with her next race in Austin, Texas at the end of April. One of her goals, besides winning a championship, of course, is she's hoping to safely host more girls with drive programs at the racetrack soon. We wish her all the best. Meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBC News.